Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent at Canterbury and in this video clip I want to show you how we can determine the rate order of a reaction. Now let's assume we have um, a reaction and I need to get my pen up here like that. So we have a reaction A that is our reactant and that is converted into a product P or something like that. So we can write for this reaction the change in the rate of the concentration of this A here. So dA over dt. That's just simply the posh way of writing that there's a change in concentration of A, so that's basically the speed, equals minus K, that's the rate constant, times the concentration of A, now abbreviated like that, and there is a certain rate order of that, so A to the power of N, and this N here reflects our um, rate order. Now, we can be a little bit cheeky and we can just simply say the speed of the reaction, so speed equals, and we know that speed does not include uh, any direction. So we can say speed equals k times a to the power of n, like that. So we don't have to worry about this minus sign here. Now if we want to get n, what we can do is we can take the log of both sides, so we can use log 10 or we can use any other log as long as we are consistent. And what we can do is we can say log speed equals, now we take the log of the k, log k plus n times log a, log concentration a. So that's just simply the rules of a logarithm that the time sign will turn into a plus and the power of will turn into a time sign. And we can write this in a slightly different way. So log speed equals n times log a plus log k. And that is actually the equation for a straight line. So we have y equals m x plus c. And if we plot that, uh, what we would get, or the way we would plot that, would be something along the line of... So on the x-axis we would plot this one here. So here we plot log a. On the y-axis we plot log speed. And what we get would be uh, a straight line, hopefully. Would look something like that, so that should be a straight line. And the gradient of this straight line, this would be our m here. So the gradient of this straight line here, that is our rate order. So that would be our n that we are looking for. So here is our speed uh, here is our rate of the reaction, here is the speed that we calculated and what we want to do is we want to calculate what is the rate order of this reaction. So what we do is we convert this into logarithm. So here we start with, we say, uh, log of the concentration of A. Here we say log of the uh, speed, right? And now we just simply calculate the logs. So you can do that with a calculator or um, you can do that in Excel. 
So log of this number here, right? That gives us zero. And we can do that for all the numbers uh, down here. Uh, so if we do that, we get something along the line of that. And we also calculate the log for the speed. So here we have equal log of this number here. And we do that for all the numbers down here again, like that. So we get some nice numbers. Uh, we see some of them are negative, but uh, that uh, doesn't really, shouldn't really bother us. And uh, what we can do now is we can draw a nice graph. So we highlight this and then we insert a plot. We do a scatter plot. So that's this one here. And uh, we see we get a straight line. Now let's, uh, let's format this nicely. That's not what I wanted. This pen is a little bit, has a little bit a life of its own. So we add a trend line and we just simply say display equation on chart. So this gives us our straight line here. Nice straight line. Obviously we would need to um, label the axis. Uh, let's quickly do that. So let's label the axis. Here, so here we put log A and here we had log speed. And what we want to determine is the, um, the gradient of this. So the gradient we already have here with our equation but we can also determine this here. So this point here is 0 0.25. That's actually this point here. So 0 0.25. And here, our difference here is one take away 0 0.8. So that is 0 0.2. And we would have to calculate uh, 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.22 and this gives us 1.25. So this 1.25 is our rate order. So n equals 1.25. And we can also calculate our rate constant because we know that the rate constant here, so k, or uh, log k equals our c, when we had this y equals mx plus c, so our c here is minus one and all we need to do in order to get k is just simply uh, do both sides 10 to the power of so we've got k equals 10 to the power of minus one and that is 0 0.1 and obviously we need to uh, discuss what the units are so here uh, we had uh, the uh, units, the concentration was millimolar and here millimolar per minute. So we have basically uh, our reaction. So speed equals K times A to the power of one to five. That was our rate order that we just calculated. And we know we have 
millimolar per second per minute sorry equals k times and a is given in millimolar so this is millimolar to the power of one two five so uh, all we need to do is get rid of this millimolar this unit here so we have millimolar to the power of one minute times millimolar to the power of minus one two five and the unit therefore if we put these together we get millimolar to the power of minus zero point two five times minute to the minus one. So hopefully uh, this makes sense and it shows you how you can actually calculate from data, how you can calculate the rate order of a reaction, how you can calculate the rate constant of a reaction here and how you can determine the units for the rate constant. Thank you very much for watching.